monitors, they're not the same resolution and that has fucked me over Game for a long time. Game One of them is in 4K and the other one's only in 1080p, so don't do that. It's annoying. It's not big enough of a problem to like deal with it. Um, yeah, we're going to watch the Colleen Ballinger thing. I don't know. Everyone's been talking about it, so I didn't think anyone wanted me to talk about it, but there's quite a lot of folks in here now, so... A racist monitors? No, I said Asus monitors. That's how you pronounce it. It's called Asus. Yeah, like Jesus. Data, thank you for the member. Thank you for your member. Tur Turbo Queer, thank you for the $2. Uh, whips out Uke. I'm sorry, Ethan, but D's nuts. How's the audio, by the way? Can everyone hear me? Can everyone hear the Bart Simpson lo-fi? Um, Ivy, thank you for the member. Liv, thank you for the member. First stream, everyone's first stream. Every single person's first stream in here. Audio good? That's great. I've been getting better at it. I used to be so discouraged from streaming because... Oh my god, it's a little loud. Um, because... Back when, you know, when you stream to, like, no viewers, no one's there to tell you your audio sounds like shit. And my audio always sounded like shit. So I'd look back at the VOD, and I'd be like, fuck! <laughs> hey, Tetsabat, thanks for the 199. Trying to become a member, but the button isn't there? Is it not there for some people? You might have to subscribe first. Palms blunt wraps? That's right. King Palm. I thought you said so you can hear the Marxist lo-fi. No, Bart Simpson lo-fi. We don't talk about politics here. <laughs> Second ever stream. You know, those are important too. Second, third, fourth, until it becomes a regular thing. This is only my third YouTube stream. But I'll tell you, a couple of people were asking, like, every time I stream on YouTube, there's always a couple of people like, oh, no more Twitch, no more Twitch. Yes, no more Twitch. No more Twitch. Now. <laughs> no, I, I'm just, I, I think Twitch does not <laughs> have uh, that much of a future. YouTube's not going anywhere, and I think streaming has only been better. Um, clearly, the streams are doing better. I have more people here than I would on a Twitch stream, and everyone has a YouTube account. Why would you not stream on YouTube? I don't know. What is up with that eagle? That's just to like show you what I'm about, you know? Um, what's the scar on your lip from? I was bitten by a dog as a baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm a pit bull toddler actually. I love pit bulls, but I am a pit bull toddler. Dog got me like that when I was like two. There's one on my nose. You can barely see it. Yeah, I was like two years old. I was a baby. My dad said I was fucking with the dog because it was his dog. But she got me pretty good. <laughs> Game cat, my. Please play Garfield Kart. Game I know cat, I promised my. Garfield Kart. We can play Garfield Kart. I just don't know if I can download it on stream right now. <laughs> Might have to be the next stream. Game cat, my. Cloud P, thank you for the member. Game cat, my. God's second lesser known son, Brandon. Thank you for the $2. First stream I've caught and ready to rock. Thanks. Thanks everyone for being here. Wow, it's just awesome. <laughs> um, I, I rearranged things a little bit. This is the new angle, or a new angle. I don't know. I've just been trying to make things look a little cozier, you know? This is my first one of your streams. I love your videos. Thank you so much. I've been waiting for your reaction to this. Yeah, we'll we'll get to it. I'm just we're just chilling, talking to the chat for now, though. Silly little fellow, thank you so much for the two dollars. Can't afford a member, but hi, I'm drawing lesbians. The member is two dollars, and you gave me two dollars. You could have afforded a membership. I wish I could gift memberships. I don't think I can. <coughs> Here. Um. I don't think I can, but other people can. Maybe I can? I don't know. Show your support? What does that mean? 
Oh, you can leave a super sticker or a super chat. Wow. Super chats I actually see because it's highlighted, but a super sticker? Wow. <laughs> anyway, others can? Yeah, you can do gift memberships, but I don't think... Make sure to turn on gift memberships. I think you have to do that on your account. I don't know. It's all... This all new shit that I think we're all going to figure out. Stick... What the fuck is a super sticker? I don't fucking know. I don't care either. Would it be okay if I drew you? It's always okay. People do fan art all the time, and I think it's very nice. I try to share it every time I see it. Can I send links yet? I don't know. Can you? I don't know. Here. Uh... Community moderation. Channel guidelines. Here, uh, can you ash this? There's too much going on. I think I should probably do this off stream. <laughs> uh, I posted a video about uh, Dream. That did fucking terrible. The Dream fans bombarded me. It was really funny. Uh, most of them didn't watch the video, which I thought was strange. I loved the dream video. Thanks. I think the dream fans reported it. I got my Twitter temporarily suspended. Um, I got a bunch of DMs. Very mean DMs. The dream fans are mean. It's funny, though. I think it's funny. Yeah, the dream stands came for me. Um, I think it didn't get into some people's subscription feeds because they reported it. Babe, can you close the door? <laughs> Thanks. Dream stands are scary. Yeah, they're like a terrorist group, kind of. In 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 a way, I would I would say. Um, thank you. Dana for the 99 cents and some strong pig for the 99 cents. Oh, those are super stickers. 99 cent super stickers. It's uh, You can basically send me an emoji that I'll see. That's awesome. <laughs> Gang cack my... Gang cack my... Yeah, the dream stands are kind of an aggressive hive mind. Why are you streaming on YouTube? Every time I stream on YouTube, I have to tell people why. It's just better. Gang it's just better. It just reaches more people. There's like a lot of features that I wish YouTube had that I know they're working on, like channel points. But overall, there's just no reason not to stream on YouTube. I was going to make a video about it, but I don't know. I think I might make a third channel video about it. <laughs> I haven't posted anything on my third channel yet. <clears throat> what the fuck are channel points? You get them from watching and then you can like... Spend them when you play sound effects. I thought that was a fun part of Twitch, even though I was really lazy and barely ever did it. Third channel? Yeah, I have a third channel. It's called Ethan Style. But I haven't posted any Ethan Style videos on there yet. No, I never posted that. I still have to edit it. It's on my PC. Um, I'm subscribed to all the PB channels. That's a real one. <laughs> yeah, third channel. That's right. Uh, what's up? I see all the stick bugs in the chat. Oh, yeah. If you become a member, you can have the stick bug emote. <laughs> stick bug emote. I drive a little steamboat. <laughs> Nemo. <laughs> Limo. I just subscribed to channel three. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. While everyone's in here, um, tomorrow... There's going to be a big Queef Jerky announcement. There's, it's going to be crazy. There's going to be some really cool Queef Jerky stuff coming soon. Um, I'm really, really excited about it. We, we announced it on Instagram a little while ago. And there's going to be another announcement tomorrow. And it's going to be awesome. Queef Jerky. If you don't know, Queef Jerky is um, my friend... Nick and Dev, they have a band called Queef Jerky. They make experimental hip-hop music, I think. It's like the best way to quantify it. 
um, and we have a collection of songs, uh, a certain amount. <laughs> It's vagina music. <laughs> You've heard of penis music. Get ready for vagina music. Queef jerky. 10,000 years. Um, when do we get Pete in vlogs? Hell yeah, man. I used to vlog. One of my uh, first YouTube channels when I was a kid, I, I vlogged and I full on doxed myself. Those videos are long gone, but I like straight up just, and I don't live there anymore. I haven't lived there in years, but like I full on just showed the front of my house and posted it on <laughs> And like, I filmed myself like, cause I was vlogging. So I was like, I'm walking into my house from school and I'm unlocking the door and I'm, yeah. And I, I really wish I, I had those videos so I could watch them um, because I'm sure they're really funny, but. Yeah, I need to do that again. I need to bring that back. Start filming the front of my house and how to get into my house. <laughs> Beethan says gay rights. I made like a video about it, alright? Well, Fig Tree Lee, thank you for the for the vibes sticker. <laughs> Momo, thank you for the $2 lighting up in honor of my first Peeth stream. That's awesome. Bungalow 42 is always on repeat. That's right. Gang my Excited to finally Gang be able to simp live. Thank you, Sammy, for the $5. Tacky Lexapro for the $2. Bagel for the member. Silly little fellow, if I didn't get you already. Aiden for the member, if I didn't get you already. Peef jerky, next channel. What strain are you smoking? What was that? Was that? That was Cherry Gorilla. Godzilla the gorilla? The gorilla that would eat kids' hats is his trick. <laughs> it's one of my favorite, I think you should leave bits. Or no, it's just a line from the third season. I don't remember what bit that's from. Godzilla the gorilla? Oh, the party one where he's like, Stop talking about your kids. <laughs> I love your gay video. Thanks, man. GF is about to take a 300 milligram edible Godspeed. Godspeed butt bags. Trisha responded to Colleen. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. My strain is peanut butter breath. That's a good strain. I've evolved as a stoner to the point where it's like, when you first start smoking weed, it doesn't really matter what you're smoking because it's all going to get you high. But once you start learning, like, the different varieties of high and, like, how, like, some are more for, like, different vibes and different moods. And it's it's very interesting. It's like wine, except if wine got you different kinds of drunk. It's cool. Um, what are your thoughts on ukuleles? I've never been a fan. <laughs> Not even once. Duke Nukem strain? If that's real, I want it. I've never had it. What's your edible milligram amount? I haven't taken edibles in a while, but I'd probably take like a 20 or 20 milligrams, whatever, like to have like a casual night. I don't know. I smoke a lot. I made boneless cookies. What? Paul and Morgan are interviewing people on the street? Okay, I'll look that up too. That sounds awesome. We're Can't so back, my... come on. Flame worms, thank you for the member. I'm so mad because I love ukuleles. They're so cute, but she said decided to use them for this. Okay, ukuleles are like a little tacky. Come on. Ukuleles are like a Yeah, like come on. You just don't like Gang Kak Maya. Gang Kak Maya. Don't play a ukulele. Just don't do that. <laughs> Uh, musical dealer for the ten dollars. Thank you so much. I'm so happy I got to catch you live. I've always have your videos in the background while I'm drawing. Uh, drawing. Also, if I were to draw fan art, where should I send it? Uh, Twitter or Instagram, or the mail to my house. <laughs> um, I should get a PO box. I only wanted to do a PO box if I was like streaming regularly, but I think that'd be fun. It just means, but it just, I have to like go somewhere and that, that doesn't appeal to me. Rip Twitter. I'm not like, I don't know. I'm not leaving Twitter. Twitter's too funny. Come on. Um, I'm never going to pay for it, but it's like, I'm always going to be posting little jokes on there. I think Instagram primarily is like the useful social media as like an influencer, but I don't know. Twitter is, 
it's you can make your bag on it in the short term but it long term you know it's all over the place it's messy it's sloppy SM for the 499. I've missed this energy. I've had a bad couple of months, but I'm finally vibing again. <laughs> That's how we do the unboxings on the beach at night with flash on. That would be really funny. Sammy, thank you for the member. Rachel Morehouse, thank you for the member. Archer Rose, thank you for the member. Guys, the members are rolling in. Getting more and more minutes. people are joining the piss nation, the pisters. <laughs> um, I, did I miss another notification? We can't ukulele ourselves out of this one, boys. Due date in two weeks? What, for like a baby or an essay? <laughs> we are the pistols. What's your favorite weed content on YouTube? Uh, you cringe, your, you cringe, you smoke by Nick is not green. He's really, he and I are the only ones really posting like consistent weed content, are we not? Like in terms of commentary. Not to say that more people should do it. It's a bad idea because it gets you demonetized. <laughs> I just, there's no way around it. That's why it's easier to stream and smoke because it's, YouTube's not as critical about this shit. I touched a ukulele once, am I pardoned from being cringe? Everyone's probably touched a ukulele. It's like an instrument that kids play because it's easy to learn. <laughs> That's why it's funny to me. It's like it's like doing an apology on a recorder. <laughs> why does it get demonetized? YouTube doesn't like smoking on camera. What do you say? Yeah, a recorder would have been better. You should play, play Garfield Kart. I'll get Garf, Garfield Kart. We'll get there. Opinion on bongos. That would be a much better way to do an apology. Slam poetry bongo apology. I messaged some kids. They were underage. A kazoo would have been classy. True. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah for the $5, thank you. Finally caught a stream. I've always loved watching the past ones, but it's more fun watching the lives as they happen. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't want to stream on Twitch anymore. I'll say it. I want to make a third channel video about it. I think I'm going to. I don't know. I need to like tell people. I think I think it's only fair to like make it as obvious as possible, but also as like advice for like up and coming creators or any other creator that thinks I have anything to say. I, I think people should stop streaming on Twitch. I think it's a waste of time. Um, it's oversaturated. Numbers are down site-wide. Boring. <laughs> For one. Uh, too many girls on there. I hate it. <laughs> Just got my first paycheck for my new job, so I thought I'd show some support. Oh, with the $20. Thank you. I love your style of content and your sense of humor. Your streams and videos are my comfort content. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Twitch is cringe. I don't know. They don't. Cl they clearly don't know how to monetize things properly, and are just clearly. <laughs> they have like such an obvious bias for like who they favor. What? Someone asked by like Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Where? D pad gamer. <laughs> Sorry. Air, 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 air. Do you like Nicki Minaj? Of course I like Nicki Minaj. I'd play some, but she would probably kill me for copyright. Can you please slow the chat down a little bit? Let's try. Um. <laughs> Let's figure it out. Should just be a button somewhere. Listen, I know I said that Twitch is bad, <laughs> but listen, it's not like that. It's not like that. Greg Pumpo in chat, hello? I just want to tell you to keep doing what you're doing. You're amazing for those of us previously uh, lost queers following Claire White and Calvin Guerra. 
I'm not sure what you're talking about, but thank you for the five dollars. Oh, Greg Pumpo, thank you for the two dollars. Who? Oh, I see. I see. Barbie when? I'll see the Barbie movie when it comes out. That's awesome. Claire White. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize she was. They were talking about Blair White and said Claire White. That's really funny. Um, Eclipse, thank you for the member. Now, uh, did you like Spider Verse? I really liked Spider Verse. I'd like to see it again. Um, yeah, movies are back. Movies are back in a big way. <sighs> Who are you talking to? My uh, my bodyguard. Um, what was I gonna was I gonna look something up? Greg Pumpo, tell me. Hobie Brown, yeah, I mean Spider Punk couldn't have been done better justice. As like a huge Spider Man nerd, I don't even like Spider Verse comics. I hate Spider Verse comics, but those movies are really good. I own all seven of the recorder family of musical instruments, including the over three foot long bass recorder and four inch long sopra. sopra Sopranino recorder. Holy shit. I need to see a bass recorder. What does that even sound like? Blah. Getting cacked, my. Getting cacked, my. Okay, okay. Let me pause the Bart Simpson lo fi. Minzo, thank you for becoming a member. Now. The set recorder. This recorder is in F, just like the alto. It sounds an octave lower, but the difference is it's notated in bass clef. For a lot of you, this will be your first uh, encounter with bass clef, so I'm going to show you how to play each note how it sounds, how it's written, and also the some of the fingerings for the bass are different because it's bigger. Two things, one is that the bass recorder is notated an octave lower than it sounds. This is so that you don't have loads and loads of ledger lines, but so that you know that. I'm also going to use a fingering system um, where the thing- Guys, don't make jokes about fingering, it's not funny. Fingering isn't a joke. Whoa, Tricky Noodle, $50. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you're really high for this apology video. You're going to need it. I'm not high. I'm not intoxicated in any way. I would never do drugs. Guys, stop talking about fingering. I don't want it. Um... Faith, thank you for the five dollars. Nasha says F from getting off mid, so I'm very much looking forward to watching this and smoking. Hell yeah. Uh weed is very good for for nausea, I'll say it. Did I just see Sneeko? Um I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Do you like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Thank you for the $5. Yes, I do. Yeah, my streams are sponsored by D.A.R.E., actually. Bah, bah, bah. Dark Souls boss. Ah! Yeah, he does look like a Dark Souls boss in that. Uh, Gang hack my... Okay. okay, I think I figured out this YouTube streaming thing. Can I make this bigger? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Now everyone, everyone is here. Da, 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 da. Can I? I just want this to be a little cleaner. I think this is all we need for now. <laughs> Come on. It won't let me zoom out now. There we go. I think that's better. 
Meteor Enjoyer. <laughs> Thanks for the $5. I've been watching your stuff for a bit, caught this stream, and now I'm here. You ever played Soulsborne? If so, favorite boss? I love Soulsborne games. I I should stream some Soulsborne, for sure. You said it. You said it, Meteor Enjoyer. Listen, I'll say my favorite Dark Souls uh, boss or Soulsborne boss is not fucking Dark Eater Meteor. I hate Meteor. <laughs> Can't even hit that motherfucker for, like, most of the boss fight. Um, Bloodborne's one of my favorite games of all time. I have I have a Bloodborne tattoo. Um, it looks kind of stupid when I stretch it like that. But, <laughs> um, fuck, favorite boss? I don't know. Maybe Astral Clock Tower? D-Pad Gamer. Y'all heard a groan tube? Huh? Uh, Lady Maria is awesome of the Astral Clock Tower. I like. I like Orphan of Koss, although it, he's kind of bullshit. Um, Sekiro is my favorite FromSoft game, even though I have a Bloodborne tattoo. Um, but, you know, Jordan has a Sekiro tattoo, so it would be awkward if we had matching ones. That might be gay. Do you like Dead Cells? I've never played it. Opinion on Danny Danny Gonzalez. I have no opinion on that guy. No, I, I, I like his videos a lot. I've never met him, though. Wait, have I? No. I met Curtis. I've met Drew. Never met Danny. But, uh... Maybe one day. You know, a man can dream. Um... Are you excited for Armored Core, Armored Core 6? Yes, and the only reason is because my, my partner was telling me how cool Armored Core is. I had no idea, and I'm really excited because I, I love FromSoft games. I love FromSoft games. It's great. Denny's Gonzalez. Oh, I see. Uh, what's Curtis like? He's nice. He's nice. Um. A groan tube sounds like, oh yeah, when you flip it upside down. Like a cow, like one of those little cow, Game cow things. Corvid, thank you for the member. Wow. When are we getting to the video? We'll get to it when we get to it. Uh, are you gonna collab with Curtis? I don't know. I don't know Curtis like that. I'd love to, but it's that's a very like he's so busy. He has so much going on, and he doesn't even know me. Like we've we've met like at parties. Um, have you seen the vid before? So I watched Nick's video when it came out. I am very behind on this Colleen Ballinger stuff. Peeth streams have no structure. We know this. No structure. I don't do it like the rest of them. I'm, I'm different. Um, Alexa Corbin, thank you for the two dollars. My leopard gecko says you look very sussy. Leopard geckos can't even talk. What the fuck is the Gen Kagmire sound from? It's from a video. What is your dog like on the Fourth of July? He's gonna be really anxious. I'm worried about him, but uh, you know. I'm just going to hang out with him. I'll stay with him and we'll smoke some weed, him and I. Uh, will you start posting Twitch highlights on this account again? Well, first of all, I don't stream on Twitch anymore. And second of all, maybe. I don't know. Probably. I'll probably be recording a video while we watch the Colleen Ballinger thing. But I haven't. we haven't gotten there yet. We're watching the base recording. Fingers are. Thumb is zero. One, two, three four five six seven and if it's got a line after it that means half so the hole is half open got that let's go i need to hear what this thing sounds what the fuck that sounds crazy <laughs> Yeah, 
that's a subliminal messaging. <laughs> this is this freaking my cat out? Sorry. It's just a weird bassoon. Yeah, you know, it kind of is. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this person's a recorder YouTuber, a recorder influencer. That's awesome. Professional musician regrets pink fairy princess recorder. Hello, everybody. I'm Sarah, and I'm a... Let me hear it. What, what is going through the manufacturer's heads? <laughs> Why would they make this? Is there anything in Fairy Princess about recorders? There is no mention of music or recorders or the reason for this is existence anywhere in this magazine. <sighs> Just drink some coffee and gather my thoughts. I wonder if she's like frustrated by the stigma that recorders are for children and she wants recorders to be taken seriously as like an instrument. That's a really cool person to be. Someone has to be like this this person who's like really into recorders and is like the recorder person. <laughs> and I'm glad it's her. Let's get her to 300k. Let's get her to a million. I'm going to use Sarah Jeffrey team recorder 10 million 10 billion years. Have COVID right now, but your stream is making me feel better. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for the $2, though. Um, thanks, Corvid, for the member. Okay, I think I got everything. I don't I don't think this shows everything. <laughs> Ooh, sorry if I'm missing stuff. I'm trying to get it, but I'm still getting used to streaming. I forgot how to do it. She is doing the Lord's work. Let's get her to 10 billion views. I need to hear your take on Spamton Delta Rune. No, I'm not going to give you a take on that because that's not a thing that I know anything about. That could have that could have meant anything. What's your opinion? Opin <laughs> well, you wrote that. What's your opinion on ocean sunfish? Greg Pumpo, thank you for the gifted membership. Wow, thanks, Greg Pumpo. Everybody, thank Greg Pumpo in the chat. Soda! Greg Pumpo. Opinion on Matt Pat, dude. I'd love to talk to Matt Pat. I want him I want him to personally explain to me the Five Nights at Freddy's lore. Like I know he's already made a bunch of videos about it, but I want him to tell me <laughs> in a way that I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Greg Pumpo. Collab with Matt Pat. Game theory. Spider Man is actually gay. <laughs> Can we get one more soda? Soda! What's your opinion on the new, on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the new movie? I like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I haven't seen the new movie. I do want to see Gorilla Transformers though, where Optimus Prime turns into a gorilla. I'm really interested in that. Opinion on Will Wood? You were in a MatPat vid that one time, though? I was, wasn't I? Wait, MatPat did put me in a video. Can somebody send me that? Wait, no, the links don't work. Fuck. I don't know how to find that. Dude, that was so weird. <laughs> it was like a really, it was like, he clearly didn't know who the fuck I was. It was like some clip, right? Or like it was like a picture of a thumbnail. It had nothing to do with me. Matt Pat, let me on the show. Let me do a game theory. I have so many theories, dude. Whoa. Oh, also, guys, I want to play Spider-Man Miles Morales. I watched I watched Across the Spider-Verse and it made me want to play Spider-Man Miles Morales. So we might do that later. Neil Cicerega. I wish I could collab with him. I would collab with Lemon Demon. Oh, that would be so fun. The links won't work. I don't know how to fix it. Give us a game theory. Um, Metal Gear Solid 5. All the soldiers are actually brainwashed. Big Boss is the real villain. That's a pretty obvious one. I'm sure he's already actually done that video verbatim. MDG, thank you for the 999. Hey, Ethan, I've been listening to your vids like a podcast for nearly a month. 
and it's been very entertaining. Can't wait to take, hear your take on the Colleen situation. I'm surprised how many people want me to talk about this Colleen crap. I didn't even think it was a big deal. Okay, I guess this is a good a time as any to like move on to it, right? How's the audio, by the way? Game the shower is on in the background. Game Can you hear it? Can you hear the shower? Why are we still watching the recorder, lady? Hey! Don't... Don't disparage the recorder, lady. Sounds fine. Audio's good. Great audio. I can smell every sound. All I hear is you. Can't hear shower. Great. Thank you, Greg Pumpo. My mouth is so dry. Why did I smoke? I know why. I don't think I have any fucking water. Hang on. Sorry, I yelled. <sighs> Water. All of my skills to oh, see if I can. That's the, that's Sarah Jeffrey team recorder again. <laughs> Opinion on Weezer? I'm the biggest Weezer head. Don't even ask. <sighs> Anis cat. Thank you for the two dollars. What did you say? <laughs> Anis cat. Weezer is fire. <coughs> Pinkerton or Blue Album? Pinkerton? Oh, I used to really like Pinkerton, the Weezer album, but <laughs> I could make a whole fucking video about this. Pinkerton is so good when you first hear it. If you don't know anything about Rivers Cuomo, do you like punk music? Hell yeah, I do. Rivers Cuomo, <laughs> that whole album is about how he's super in love with this like 18 year old half Japanese fan that inevitably became his wife. Like that. It was actually like about a real girl. It's super fucking weird. Um, the music is great. It sounds awesome, but even if you just listen to the lyrics a little bit, it the implications of it are super bizarre. <laughs> so I don't like Pinkerton for that reason. When I listen to Weezer, I, I usually listen to either the White Album or the Black Album or Ratitude. Mm, thoughts on the Lemon Demon? I mentioned Lemon Demon earlier, and I love Lemon Demon. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Okay, so I have kind of a controversial idea. I really don't want to watch this Colleen Ballinger thing. Hang on, let me start the recording. Okay, so I have kind of a controversial idea. I really don't want to watch this Colleen Ballinger thing. Um, we're going to, but what if... What if I built this little Lego Death Star 2 while I listen to this stupid fucking song. I think I could... I think I can finish this before Colleen Ballinger is done singing her song about how she didn't actually do anything wrong. Because it's not that big. It's not a big deal or anything. It's just the Lego Death Star 2 40th Anniversary Return of the Jedi Lego set. Um, it's, as you can see, it is the Death Star just like that. Firing its little laser. <laughs> it's 10 minutes? Really? Then let's get to it. 
Let me see here. I, let me get set up first before it starts. You're cheating? No, 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 no. I don't have to open the packages. This is my stream, my rules. I regret being a slut. The Red Bull splashed into my face. Ugh. Listen, it's not that many pieces. I think I can do it. 289 pieces. It's only three bags, I think. Look. This? I don't think you understand my... <laughs> I think you underestimate my Lego capabilities. Come on. Just three bags. You're a master builder? That's right. Well, you have to include... Because I'm going to pause. I'm going to be pausing and talking about the video. So I'm going to be building while I'm talking about the video, obviously. So I think I think we got this. I think we can do it. You can't pause it. I can pause it. I get to pause it. It's not. I'm not going to be able to actually do it if I don't pause it. Just opening the bags and pouring out all the pieces. It's going to take that long. <laughs> yeah, I am the sheriff and I do what I please. Dude, I just can't believe she did this. So, okay. Just as like an intro, right? I am super behind on the fucking Colleen Ballinger shit. No idea who the fuck she is. I know a little bit of Miranda Sings, but I feel like I've been Mandela affected into thinking that uh, this person, like, never existed. I feel like I've never seen her before in my life before all this controversy happened. So that's why I never made any videos about it, because I was like, I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> Um, so, but I saw all the videos on it and now I'm extremely concerned because <laughs> this is insane. She was in Wreck-It Ralph 2, but here's the thing. Why would I see Wreck-It Ralph 2? Ralph breaks the internet. I will never watch that movie, so. <laughs> um, I don't even like the original Wreck-It Ralph and that's my controversial opinion of the video. <laughs> she was in Ralph Breaks the Internet. She has a cameo because a lot of uh, liberal Hollywood writers who are really pretentious like really annoying millennial content because it's super marketable. <laughs> I mean, that's why she had such a big uh, career. Colleen Ballinger got off. Uh, Colleen Ballinger made success off of the fact that her content is super harmless. It's like, I mean, she's like super fucking. <laughs> Everyone's mad about the fucking Wreck It Ralph thing, but I read the I read people being like, "Whoa, what?" And I thought you were talking about the Colleen Ballinger thing. Sorry, I thought I had Colleen Ballinger defenders in the chat. The original Wreck It Ralph was great. It's all right. I don't know. I feel like it's just a not as fun version of Monsters, Inc. I said it. It follows the same plot structure and it provides nothing like beyond nothing that Monsters, Inc. doesn't already do other than like having Sonic in it. You can't refund the memberships. <laughs> Wally is the superior movie. Wally's okay. How do you feel about Pixels? Now that's a movie. That's a real movie. Listen, man, you hate me because I I say the truth. <laughs> Don't do Wally like that. All right, all right. Calm down. <laughs> Wait, Colleen did a cover of Gangnam Style? No fucking way! Oh my god. 
No goddamn way. Uh, oh, oh boy. I think we should watch this first, right? I need to open Dang, the other I'm Lego glad. bag. Ah! Dang, SS, thank looking. you for becoming a member. Maddie the Ghost, thank you for becoming a member. Yeah, we need to watch Dang, this first. Dang, I already thanked Maddie the Ghost. Someone said groomer style. So what the fuck is this? Colleen. What is this? I just like, okay, so Maddie B. Raps also did a cover of Gangnam Style. Was it, was it him? Yeah, it was. <laughs> and like the song is, that was an insane voice crack. The song is in Korean. <laughs> so what do you want? Like, how are you going to cover that in English without learning Korean? Or completely rewriting the lyrics and then, and then what? Are you going to write it about what Gangnam Style is about? It's like, <laughs> it is like probably the most like raw, talentless move. To do an American English cover of Gangnam Style. Because all you're doing is just stealing the beat at that point. And, like, the melody. You're just, like, stealing the song and turning it into your song. Yeah, she spelled it Gangnam Style. You are not ready. Yeah, the the racism particles are, are hitting pretty hard off of this. I'll say. I'll say it. I'm getting irradiated. What are your pronouns? Whatever you want. I don't care. You pick. <laughs> ah, my fucking mouse isn't working. Man, we really are back. We're back in a big way. My mouse isn't working, just like it used to in the old Twitch streams. I used to think Maddie B. Raps was meant to be read as Maddie Braps. You're not alone. I was there once. Maddie Braps. Ethan, can I call you baby girl? Yeah, maybe not. All right, now we can watch this. <laughs> Oh no. Whoopin' Gangnam Style! Gangnam Wait, why is the subtitle? <laughs> the subtitles are in Portuguese? What? Why are those the only options? Auto. Tr English. How did this happen? A, B, C, D, E. Boom. Fun. I don't think it's working. Ichi michi kichi lichi mi no mango rani. Tamagachi uchi guchi linki niki naki. I'm a man Miranda can a man a sana taco. Ginky pinchi low with I eat all so joku. Hey yo, we can be yo. Like on night. Like on night. Jello, we can be yo. Single me. Give it up, everyone. The most racist video on YouTube. I never... I didn't realize. <laughs> wow. I'm like... I'm genuinely speechless. It's like... This has, what, like 10 million views or something? 
Six six point six million views. <laughs> like, wow. How is has nobody really? No one talked about this. Someone had to have talked about this already. This is like, this is like unacceptable. <laughs> but here's the thing. It's really funny for me. No, oh, I, I was trying to. Uh, Dude, how did anyone think this is funny? Like, 2012 is 2012. It's a long time ago, but how did anyone think this is funny? All the comments are fucking clowning on her. That's really funny. Uh, the newest are gonna be whatever. But no, like, seriously, how was this? I need to see comments from, like, the time. I love this. She is so funny. Lead poisoning. Gang I love it. Keep it up, Amanda. This is the first Ama Mir <laughs> Amanda? What? <laughs> this is the first Miranda video I saw really made an impression. I love her. I've seen both two seasons of Haters Back Off. Miranda, you sing perfectly. 10 out of 10. I disagree, actually. <laughs> this aged like wine. It's from her show? Love this version. <laughs> Amanda? That's how disconnected I am from this shit. Her fucking name might as well be Amanda. I don't know. So every time I see something of this person, I'm like shocked and scared. Wait, wait, wait. Was this just this is this was Miranda Singh's thing, right? This is wasn't this all what she did? Oh my god, she's still posting? What the fuck? Was that wasn't this her thing? She would like sing like the 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 bad version, like oh, ah, this is the terrible version. Twenty four hours stuck in JoJo Siwa's merch room. Oh my god. Go to most popular. Oh man. Reacting to four years ago. What the fuck? Why did this one pop off so much? Reacting to Ariana Grande focus. Yeah, here, check this out. No. <laughs> no more. Oh, God. It's me. So I'm trying to piece together who even the fuck... Oh, man. I'm trying to... <clears throat> So I'm trying to piece together who even this person is. Who is this? Because I copyright strike? No way, right? There's no... I have no context for, like, what she's apologizing for. For, like... Well, I know what she's apologizing for. Sorry. I have no context for, like, the, who she was or who she is or, like, what... I don't know. I know she's a groomer. I know she, like... It's a really fucked up shit, but, like, why did she have a platform? Who the fuck is she? How do you not know? I guess I just wasn't on Facebook in 2012 as, not, as much as everyone else was. Ugh. She sent Trisha Paytas' nudes to minors? No way. <sighs> Colleen is Miranda Sings? No, I know. I'm trying to get an idea... I'm just trying to get an idea of Miranda's content. 
or Colleen's content, whatever. She did? Why? What was the context of that? She sent, yeah, she did send underwear to a minor. That was insane. She's, guys, she's not a groomer. She's just a loser. To bully her? Damn. She copyright strikes apology videos. She sent Trish, thank you for the $2. She sent Trish of material to minors, several. Trish of material. She just made a fart joke. That's all she did. Bro has 46k dislikes for some reason. Well, she does, not me. That's why Trish responded. I haven't seen that, yeah. Oh, OnlyFans. Wait, she sent minors Trisha Paytas' OnlyFans? She bought Trisha Paytas' OnlyFans to send it to minors? That's what she did? Because, like, how did she get the news? Only fan. You need to enable live chat? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh. She asked young girls about their first period. Yeah, I saw that, too. Dude, she's fucked in the head. Why did she do this? Miranda Sings was based off of Colleen's disabled family member? Huh? She's crazy racist too. Look it up. Oh, we looked it up. You can find a morning panel, man, a jello. Whoop on Gundam style. Hey, on Sassy Lane. Dude, she's just fucking filming on the side of a freeway. What is she doing? I was wondering if after all these years you like to me to go over everything. They say that time's supposed to heal you, but I ain't do much here. God damn, dude, this is just so awful. So, okay. Fuck. Can I stick bug on here? No. I don't know how to do it. I'll figure it out, maybe. Um, the voice was never funny. No. So, okay. Let me see if my read on her is correct. You guys can tell me. My read on her is that she's, like, really, really unoriginal and really unfunny and uncreative. And so she is, like, the kid that just makes, like, funny voices all the time because they don't know how to be, like, regular. But she was, like, enabled by an audience of people like that. So she became, like, one of the biggest YouTubers in, like, the early days. Is that... Does that sound correct? I'm not even, like, trying to burn her or anything. I'm just trying to give, like, an honest assessment of, like, even what I would have said at the time or like if she was making these kinds of videos without all the controversy right like clearly like a creator that isn't creative like a creator that doesn't have a platform based on merit at all like most creators don't get me wrong but like not even like funny in like a like a marketable way <laughs> she's just like failing upwards and isn't she like 37 She looks like Baba Yaga. She's never been funny. Well, see, he, he, neither was Shane Dawson, and it makes sense, right? It's the same kind of audience of people who, like, would consume whatever content that was loud. And listen, it's not, like, people's fault for watching these people. They didn't know. It's just like, you know, when people make lazy content, it does say something about them. That's all I'm saying. It's 
it's whatever. And I'm not even talking about lazy in terms of like actual function. I'm talking about lazy in terms of like, this isn't content. This is just you going like, like dancing around. <laughs> it's like, you know, people who play CSGO surf and talk about drama. The same kind of vibe, you know? How long can you hear me? I'm in California dreaming about how we used to be when we were young and free. I forgot. She literally killed a dog? What? Dude, every time someone says something about this person, it's like worse than the last. <laughs> Who is this? But pooper reacted? No way! Oh fuck! Here, here I am trying to build my Lego and just watch the regular thing. But we're doing this whole fucking deep dive. And you know what? I don't mind. I wish. Fuck! Why is my mouse not working? I just charged it too. Brett Cooper, Miranda sings. You know Brett Cooper was a huge Miranda Sings fan. Welcome. Wait. Damn, she made two videos about this. Holy shit. I don't even know which one to watch. I don't want to watch both. I think this one's going to be really basic, and she's just going to say what everyone said. Like, maybe that was not the right way to do it. I don't know if the allegations are true. She definitely hit some centrist shit on that. Welcome back to the cop. Right winger, right wingers will always excuse sexual assault because, it, like, the more you silence victims, the more you enable perpetrators of sexual assault, which typically end up being right wingers. But you know, I'm sure she has a very nuanced take <laughs> on the Colleen Ballinger situation. Okay, uh, what should we watch first? We watched this. Should we watch the should we watch the actual apology and try to build the Lego first and then and then <laughs> she wearing a third eye blind shirt? No fucking way. Oh my god, she is. <sighs> Probably fucking <laughs> literally from a set. Her stitch started by her making fun of girls in her class that sang bad but thought they were good? No way. Do the apology first. Let's do the apology first. Gangnam Style real quick, please. Okay. Oh God, dude. I'm like trying to dance to it ironically, and it's not even like I can't even do that. God, poor senior citizens on the bus with, trapped with fucking Colleen Ballinger. She's wearing the t-shirt with her Netflix series on it. That's awesome. This isn't a joke. It's nothing. My partner said that Colleen Ballinger is like the result of if you make the same face all the time and it gets stuck that way. Like what your mom warns you about as a kid. But it's real. Wanna be goth, thank you for the two dollars. I didn't realize Gangnam Style was in another tab. Awesome. I've been watching the whole time building my Lego Captain Rex helmet. That's awesome. Built a Lego lizard today. That's just great. Congratulations, everyone. If you haven't built a Lego in a while, I would highly recommend it. It's it's very therapeutic. All right, let's get to this apology video. Let's watch Colleen Ballinger sing her way out of jail. It was always making fun of people with autism. I mean, it's clearly like... Uh, Colleen Ballinger's bit is clearly like this, uh, just from like what little I've already seen from like you guys exposing me to it. Colleen Ballinger's whole thing sure seems like, what if I did the funny voice that like the special ed kids in high school would do and everyone would make fun of. And it's just like an extension of like making fun of those kids again, but like online for millions of people. It's awesome. <laughs> it's, I'm so glad she has such a huge platform was that sneeko what what are you talking about fuck <laughs> so
Sonic controller holder? Oh yeah, he's back there. I need to charge my controller if I'm going to play Spider-Man later. Um, okay, let's watch this and let me... Let me try to build this Lego while we watch this. King Kakmai. Sapphic Fairy, Kakmai. thank you for the five dollars. Did someone already tell you about how she makes content that caters to her dad's inflation fetish? Shut the fuck up. That's not real. <laughs> I hope Brett Cooper is speechless, but I fear. We gotta stop. She has to stop, and we have to stop. I don't want to know any of this. We will watch the Trisha Paytas response. I, I won't forget that. I had some stuff bookmarked, too. Oh, yeah, her Netflix show was like a nightmare to work on. Um, it had no, like, co people of color in it because she thought it was unrealistic. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, she touched a bunch of kids on stage. That was fucking... <laughs> Please look up the inflation thing. Oh, not to show my subscription feed being only moist critical. That's really funny. I've just I just like to track what he makes videos on because I know they all do well. So I'm like, oh, what's moist critical talking about? Because this is on my second channel that I don't watch YouTube on. <laughs> that does look really funny out of context though. Um <laughs> She made a bunch of R word tweets. Oh, of course she did. I'm not surprised at that at all. Um, I need to look up Trisha Paytas. I need to see her response. She also wrote an inappropriate children's book. Uh, thank you for the $2. That's awesome. Look at her book. She made a Radiohead cover. Of course she did. That's awful. Wait. Trisha Paytas. Wait, Trisha Paytas made a whole ass video. Oh, shit. Okay, we'll watch that too, I guess. <sighs> so much going on, dude. Toxic gossip train. That's awesome. She's a creep. Put something on? I'm... Dude, I have so many tabs open about this Colleen Ballinger crap, and I don't even barely even know who this is. <laughs> My mouse isn't working. Damn it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, we're going to watch this. I'm getting on the toxic gossip train. We're finally going to watch the apology. Okay, everyone ready? This is chaotic. Oh, Paul and Morgan. We'll get to that later. All right, toxic gossip train. Okay, uh, later. Hey, it's been a while since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. She should have wrote captions or like maybe put the lyrics in the description. I think the lyrics uh, are a little more important because that is like, like I can, <laughs> truth be told, maybe it's just my bad hearing or whatever. <laughs> I can't really hear her over the, the ukulele. <laughs> All aboard. Doesn't matter if it's true though, just as long as it's entertaining to you. That's also right. uh, really cool to like, here's the progress so far. That's also really cool to like claim that people are just doing this for like drama or clout or whatever. Uh, when, like why, why would anyone come out against like someone who sexually assaulted them or like groomed them? Like 
it's something that's really, really hard to do because so many, it's like subjecting yourself and putting, like making yourself so incredibly vulnerable. It's not something people do for fun. It's not something people do because it's entertaining. It's something that people do because they desperately want people to understand what happened and understand them. By the way, these are the same chords she used for a song she made for her ex-husband for their anniversary. I'm sure she thinks that there's some like poetic irony in that when it's actually just really funny. There's a Reddit post with the transcript. Can ugh, Fuck, I need to figure out how to get you guys to send me links. You guys won't do it. <laughs> Damn, 40k likes. This is so insulting to the victims, which is true. This is, it's, it's insane how bad this is, dude. Almost a million dislikes. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, why is this the, this is the bass recorder from earlier. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic gossip train. <laughs> YouTube is awesome. Her victim, one of her victims made a response. I know it's uh, Adam, right? I think, I, I, I don't know if I want to watch their videos because uh, I think people should just watch them for themselves and they're a little more heavy than what I'm going for building Legos. Oh, we have to watch the beginning again. Hang on. Hey, it's been a while hey. since I saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true, though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. Wow, right? that's so awful. I Where thought the dream music video was bad. All aboard the toxic. I forgot she fucking yells all aboard. Oh my god. Why would you do that? Oh, that's a sign of, I think, mental illness right there. Like, I think that's an immediate sign that she is unwell and should not be in front of a camera right now. If there's anyone in the room that overheard this, uh, they had a responsibility to turn the camera off for her, and they, they failed. <laughs> All aboard! Gossip train uh. Chugging down the tracks of misinformation The toxic gossip train You got a one-way ticket to the Oh my god! The audio! Why does it sound like that, Colleen? Nightcore version now? That would be... Ooh, should we do that? Let's remix this later. That'll be really fun. Population station Like, <laughs> I love being Miranda Sings, a YouTuber who made... <laughs> Uh, a career doing music and not having any microphone. Just use whatever's on your fucking iPhone that you're filming this with. Well, it's fine. <laughs> Don't edit it at all, even. Toxic gossip train Tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past Cause rumors look like facts If you don't mind the gaps I won't survive in the crash But hey I won't survive in the crash her foundation looks way off. I'm not trying to be like a bitch about it, but I'll be serious with you guys. It doesn't look good. It looks bad. It looks like her face is like a separate face. <laughs> Maybe I'm just high, but <laughs> yeah, she looks crazy. At least you're having fun. At least you're having fun, yeah. <laughs> Dude, imagine saying that to a victim. You're having fun. What? <laughs> that's a crazy, that's crazy. That's crazed. Um, fuck, I'm missing something with this Lego. I don't know where it wants me to put, what is this? This doesn't go. I'm, oh, this is the wrong piece, it's the wrong piece, it's the wrong piece, guys. Hey everyone. Been wanting to come online and talk. That sounds like a goddamn Sesame Street song. Um, hi everyone. Today we're going to be learning about the letter G. You about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say. Awesome. So awesome to fully acknowledge that she's like putting herself in legal jeopardy by making this video. I think that is the funniest thing in the world to do. 
my my team, which she means lawyers. She means like lawyers and her manager, probably her family. <laughs> All telling her, like, hey, this is a really bad idea. You should not say anything because you are guilty. And you are going to incriminate yourself and give people evidence to use against you if they ever seek legal proceedings. On top of just making yourself look like a complete fool. It's so awesome. But you know what? They didn't, they didn't tell her she couldn't sing what she wants to say. She checks the camera at eight minutes to end it, then sees she's not at the monetization mark yet. There's no way. I need to I need to keep an eye out for that. I'll look at the transcript when we're done. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. It's probably not important. I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. Awesome. Which also, yeah. not a loophole. That does not hold up. <laughs> Anything you can and say... Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. But what about if I sing? No, yeah, that's still works. <laughs> um, and um, today I only want to talk about the facts. We're only so, speaking facts. I hope that you'll be willing to listen. Here we go. Many years ago, I used to message my fans. Uh, but not in a creepy way, like yes, a lot in a of people are way. trying to suggest. It was more of... It's not even... It, people aren't suggesting. It's not a suggestion. A loser kind of way. Where I was just trying to be besties with everybody. It's kind of like... Just not... Uh, when you go to like a family gathering, you know, and there's a weird aunt there. Who keeps coming up to you and going like, Hey girl, what's the tea? And you're like... Ugh. Um, and then your weird aunt sends you underwear in the mail, and then your weird aunt talks about, like, your period with you, even though you don't know your weird aunt. See, it's not, see, that's the thing, though. You're not a weird aunt. You don't know them. You're your weird stranger, YouTuber. <laughs> Do you like strawberry ice cream, vanilla ice cream, or mint chip ice cream? I like all three of them. My favorite ice cream is Rocky Road. Yeah, weird rapist aunt. <laughs> That was me. But in group chats with me. my fans. It was weird. I've been sharing my life online for over 15 years. So wait, she says it like it's something she's already talked about. Is that is that true or fuck, did I do this wrong? Oh my god, what am I looking at right now? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry. Guys. No, no, no. Years. I've poured my heart out no? to you because of that she's I She's never talked about this before? You're shitting me. For real? All aboard the toxic gossip train. Let me off this crazy ride. Alright, Lego. How are these supposed to go together? They don't go together, Lego. You don't go together. Oh, I see how they're supposed to go together. They do go together. Okay. It's fine. Carry on. I feel like I'm talking to my friends, but in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. Also, there was it actually in the beginning of her career? I don't think that's true either. It was like, what, like four or five years ago? Her career began, began way well before that. Am I wrong? It wasn't. It was like five years into her career. She was 30 years old. I think she was like 32. Shit happened three years ago? Oh no. Doesn't she have a kid? I think so. Oh my god. She's not a weird aunt anymore. She's a weird mom. There were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which was really weird of me. Colleen, I haven't done that stop. for years. To see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. You didn't take accountability if you didn't say anything publicly and you tried to hide it, and then you discredit people for talking out. That's the opposite of taking accountability. That's it. <laughs> what is wrong with you? She's awesome. But that's not very interesting, is it? 
So let's go on the toxic gossip train. But that's not very interesting. Is that why you haven't talked about it at all? Like, you can't, you can't say that. That's not very interesting, is it? No, it's interesting in the sense that you still, like, are a predator in that way. Um, but, you know, yeah, it, she's just doing what a manipulator has to do in this situation, which is completely deflect and, like, uh, act like the accuser is trying. It's it's her only option is to is to pretend like the the people who are accusing her are just out for clout and, you know, they're just haters or whatever. It's it, She has to completely remove herself from the situation because she is at fault and there's no way around that. But, you know, just three kids! The locomotive's fueled with hateful accusations. The toxic gossip train. It's, it's funny to call them hateful as if she's, like, taking them personally. But it's like, if people are accusing you of things that you didn't do, why would you take it personally? You would clearly just come out and say, hey, this is completely false and I didn't do this. Um, one of the, I think more like convincing youtuber apologies is the tobuscus one where he's just like on the floor crying and he's i don't even want to show it but he's just like crying he's like a 30 second video he's just crying and he's saying i didn't do this this was this isn't me i'm a bad person but i didn't hurt anyone like this and no one fucking made videos about it yeah she also did she did family vlogs god she's such a clear like she's such a shark Uh, did I do this right? I did it wrong. There we go. Anyway, back on the toxic gossip train. The quite apology? Did he do that shit? I don't think he did. I don't remember. She's such a shark. Steamroll <laughs> over some. She looks like a muppet. <laughs> I've been trying to figure it out, and I think you're right you know what what's the what's this does she kind of look like this am i wrong it's a filter it's definitely not a filter it's just foundation it's just really bad makeup She kind of looks like that. Does she not? In a way? In like kind of a way? The pose and everything? Her hair even? It's just like a reskin, like a recolor. <laughs> Leave Janice alone. <laughs> the. They have a family channel, and most popular videos are of a young kid doing gymnastics. It's super gross. Oh, yeah, they were the channel that got in trouble because all the creepy pedophiles were, like, leaving timestamps in their comment section, and they got, like, they caused, like, all the YouTube kid stuff to get, uh, to get, like, demonetized and uh, comments taken off, which is, like, honestly, deserved. She shouldn't be monetizing her kids. <laughs> Echo Fighter. <laughs> I do not believe Tobuscus. I don't know. I don't remember the details, but I'm just saying Tobuscus's apology felt much more genuine than this. Reputation, toxic gossip train. Hop on board, but close your eyes. Otherwise, you'll realize that the train is made of lies, and that person you despise maybe didn't deserve to die. But hey, at least you're having fun. Oh. In all seriousness, like, I do there are, thank you, Chris, for becoming a member. There are genuine songs about being, like, ostracized or being accused of something that you didn't actually do. I mean, there's plenty of fucking songs about that. But they don't sound like this, and they don't fucking go, Toxic Gossip Train. I think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. No, you um, don't. You know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. And this is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes. And it's something that I will continue to try to do. What? Oh, you don't care? Oh, okay. Gotcha. What? what? <laughs> 
Dude, it's like the first part of like the video that actually is like addressing anything and not just like, complaining about how hard it is for her. And she just stops. She's just like, oh, you don't care? No, that's fine. You, all you care about is toxic gossip train. And it's like, I mean, I just don't think that's true. I think people actually care about what you have to say. <laughs> There's a video called like addressing everything from a while ago. What does she talk about in that? Is that like when people were like calling her racist? Why are we watching this? Everyone wanted me to watch this. She had fans put tampons in her mouth in their mouths. Yeah, that was really weird too. I saw that. She 100% has a filter in her face. No, 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 no. It's just bad makeup, guys. I swear. All these haters care about trains. You want me to take accountability, but that's not the point of your mob mentality, is it? No. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. Wow. Like so that whole verse went from like talking about how <laughs> I think it's important to take accountability and change myself. Oh, wait, you don't care. Uh, all you care about is demonizing people that you don't like and, and trying to make money off of their demise. <laughs> it's like, bro, I mean, if I make money laughing about this, it's honestly not my fault. It's your fault for being so fucking comical. I can already hear the comments on this video. She's gaslighting, manipulating. Oh, she's a narcissist and a rat. <laughs> and a rat. Yeah, people get classic rat insult. People love calling people rats on, on YouTube comments. When it's like the actual comments are pretty, like, clear. I had a feeling Colleen would come back and do something like this. That's pretty funny. This is so painfully millennial. Yeah, she didn't say that people were going to comment on that, and that has 240 likes on it. So insulting to the victims. I guess she gets points for singing and creativity. It's not like her singing is good. Literally gaslighting and sing song. So unfair of you to release this banger one day before Olivia released Vampire. The hook Loki slaps. Yeah, we're going to make a remix version later. I'm excited. I would never make a mistake like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't Wait, really... I would never make a mistake like that? Like, people are, like, being, like, turning their nose up at you? I mean, she was literally turning her nose up. She's so vague about misinfo with no proof otherwise. Yeah, thank you. Not a loaf of bread for the member. Thanks a lot, man. Toxic Gossip Train Dubstep, re dubstep Remix. What? I would never make a mistake like that. Yeah, no, oh, I wouldn't. I'm sorry. I, I wouldn't go in like a group chat with fans and talk to them about sex and like ask a bunch of minors about like shit that adults shouldn't be talking to minors about. I would never do that. I, most people wouldn't do that. And most people don't do that. I didn't realize that all of you are perfect. So please criticize me. Right. Bring out the daggers made from your perfect past and stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. I'm sure you're but She's so quirky, guys. She's quirky and bony. She's not like like the other girls. Pointed in my shitty little song. I know you wanted me to say that I was 100% in the wrong well. well she is. I wonder if she's going to admit to anything. Uh, fuck, hang on. I need to find this one piece and then I'll press play. I think I'm, I think this one's going to be kind of hard to find. Gang cack my... Uh, Gang cack my... It's one of those little smooth top pieces that are, you know, they can get kind of lost. Found it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to take that route of admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for clout. Her, oh god, that pause. Her not talking about anything in specific uh, is only damaging to her. Like, she needs to, be, if you think people are, like, making shit up for clout, you need to be very explicit about what you're saying. Because that's such a vague accusation that you could apply to anyone, including real actual victims. Because if you're saying that you did something wrong, if you're admitting that you were creepy and weird and, you know, overstepped your boundaries with your fans like a weird aunt or whatever, there's still, like, reason to apologize for that and still reason to acknowledge that. Like, she acknowledged it, but she's also kind of defending it by attacking people who are accusing her of doing things that she actually did. <sighs> Yeah, and the rumors are literally like pictures and videos and screenshots. She wasn't like very good at hiding this creepy shit she was doing. She's doing it out in the open for years. Hey, 
everybody I found someone new to harass She did some things that I do not like in her past So everybody gather around Some things I do not like Well, you know, I will say I do not like what she did When she was speaking to minors about Uh Creepy things like periods and sex Asking them their favorite positions Sending them underwear I don't like that <laughs> We're about to attack, but not based on facts. Oh no. Your loaded lethal weapon is your fingers on the keys. You don't need any armor when you can hide behind a screen. <laughs> you don't even need armor when you can hide behind the screen. Oh my god, it's so fucking like it's 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 embarrassing. It's embarrassing how like generic this is. Where where is the fuck fireworks are starting? Where's the piece I'm looking for? I can't find it. Oh, I found it. We're good. So shoot me down quick in the click and bam. My reputation's deceased. What I find really interesting about this video is how like consistently disorganized it is. It's like really, it's like really all over the place. <laughs> She's talking about how people are making up stuff for clout, how uh, her reputation and her career is getting destroyed. Uh, because she did actually do things that were inappropriate, but it's fine because she learned and took accountability behind the scenes in silence um, while allowing the victims to just continue on with their lives without saying anything to them, while also continuing to be creepy with your fans uh, and enabling just creepy behavior in general. It's... It, uh, <laughs> it's just, she's just got such a fucking laundry list. It's too much. Yeah, I groomed kids, but what about my reputation? Come on. Guys, think about that. Uh, I also wanted to take a minute to talk about that girl Miranda sings. You know the one. Yeah, her. Uh, she's PG-13. It says that on my website, and it's... PG-13 means that you can talk to minors about extremely inappropriate things. It's just like, I don't even want to, like, repeat what it is. But I need to remind people watching that this is what she's talking about. <laughs> Fuck. Oh no, oh no, I can't play my Miranda. Always been that way. And that's why you won't find my videos on the YouTube Kids app anyway. Um, oh, it's not on the YouTube Kids app. Yeah, I see, I forgot about that. Again, why are we talking about the U your videos aren't on the YouTube Kids app? So what? What does that mean? What does that have to do with anything? Back on the toxic gossip train we go. I didn't realize it was my responsibility to decide what was appropriate for every kid to see. I've always relied on parents to decide if they're comfortable with their families watching my YouTube videos or coming to my live shows. See, th that's... Okay. <laughs> you can't be like, I'm PG-13 so I can touch the kids, too. You see, you can't touch the kids, Amanda. That's the problem. You were, like, touching the kids and, like, talking about them in weird ways. That's not PG-13. That's, that's, a uh, pedophile. <laughs> Progress report. I don't think we're going to make it, boys. I'm only on step 26. Oh, no, it fell off. I don't know. I don't know what pieces fell off and what survived, but we're just going to have to continue on. The show must go on. Have I made some jokes in poor taste? Yes. Have I made... <laughs> I love that she did this in one take. Because, like... I think it shows how much she actually gives a shit. I mean, I'm fucking building Legos while I'm doing this, but then again, I didn't do anything wrong. Um, <laughs> I think it's funny how she did it in one take because it shows that she doesn't fucking give a shit. Like, it's not edited. She didn't want to have to do that. Because she knows how bad it looks. And she doesn't care. One, two, three, four. Okay. Made lots of dumb mistakes, yes. Am bad I jokes, sad that mistakes. there are some fans who feel betrayed? Yes. You're sad, but are you sorry? I wonder if her lawyer specifically said, all right, if you're going to sing this like insane song that's going to make people even more mad at you, don't incriminate yourself by saying you're sorry. Because that's the only reason for her not to. Was my intention to manipulate? No. 
think a lot of people manipulate without realizing. Personally, like, I don't think she thinks she's a manipulator. But she is. It's just, like, how, like, dysfunctional people operate, right? It doesn't really matter what my intention was, because it seems as though everyone's already decided on that. Well, see, it doesn't matter what your intention was, because... When you do something bad to someone else, it doesn't matter what your intention was when the result is something bad that happened to them, like being traumatized. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I'm just building this Lego here. Let me tell you, it's not very fun to have mark. millions of people all over the world call you the most vile, horrendous... What does all over the world have to do with anything? I feel like she only threw that in there to make it sound like it was worse than it actually is. All over the world. Okay. Doesn't really matter. Do you, what do you know? Like, oh man. This comment was from Bangladesh. This comment was from Thailand. Who cares? Disgusting, life-ruining words that a person can be called, in my opinion. Um, in my opinion. It doesn't matter that... And it, okay, disgusting, life-ruining words. Uh, apparently not uh, the ones you said to minors. Uh, those aren't disgusting or life-ruining. Um, those are cool and funny jokes that you made. That these things aren't true. Uh, everyone just believes that you are the type of person who manipulates and abuses children. That's, that's the pause, man. That's how you know it's serious now. This is like the only thing she's specific about, but it's still a vague accusation because you're like extrapolating from testaments of like actual victims of you. You know what I mean? Like you can't like, you can't uh, paraphrase your own victim's statement. That's not fair when you're responding to them. That's not fair at all. So I just wanted to say that, um. The only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. I'm not a groomer. I'm just a loser. <laughs> not a groomer. I'm just a loser. That's awesome, dude. I just like, it's just like 15 levels of, of being stupid. Uh, where is this piece now, though? Oh, no. Oh, no. Something may have been misplaced, I'll say. I'll say it. Fellas. This may be disastrous. You didn't understand I shouldn't respond to fans, and I'm not a predator, even though a lot of you think so, because five years ago... <laughs> I'm not a predator, even though some of you think so. <laughs> that is a historic line. That's a historic... A historic bar from Miranda Sings. Made a fart joke. Oh, that's all she did. Yeah. And look how sad she is about making that fart joke, too. Where is this other piece now? Found it. Hell yeah. Huge dub. <laughs> See, Miranda Sings is revolutionizing YouTube apologies by not sighing at the beginning, but sighing in the middle. We can't think like her. She knows the business. She's been doing it long enough. So, even though I know this video won't change anyone's mind about me. That's the worst part. Her acknowledging that, her acknowledging that this video is like clearly not going to change anyone's mind just reveals to me that the fact that it's fucking self-indulgent. It's like, you okay, so you did this for you. You did this because you felt you need to get your story out there by claiming that your uh, victims are liars and that it's uh, you're not a groomer, you're just a loser. But you only did this for yourself. Because, oh, poor me, no one's going to even take this seriously. No one's even going to change anyone's minds. But thank God I did it for me. I still felt it was important to come on here and defend myself a little and take accountability. Sorry, huh? And defend myself a little. I still felt it was important to come on here and defend myself a little. Defend myself a little. Sure. And also take accountability. Okay. Cool. I, th I think she's taking accountability. What do you guys think? What do you, what do you think Adam thinks? 
It's just, it's just crazy. It's so and crazy. I just wanted to say that to anyone out there who has ever supported me in any capacity, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you. And that's also kind of manipulative. I'll say. I'll speak on that. Is this... Okay, we're almost at the point where she's checking the timestamp to make sure it's 10 minutes, which is interesting. Is this video actually monetized or are people just saying that? It'd be funny if it was. I never had any bad intentions. It doesn't matter. It People... She admitted it doesn't matter what your intentions are. Because it doesn't matter when your, what your intentions are when you hurt people, especially minors. That's like you have no leg to stand on with that argument. This is just insulting and baffling. But I do feel like shit. Good. Asshole. The toxic gossip train. <laughs> down. I'm so glad she brought that back. She brought the hook back. Oh, because it's not long enough. She literally could have ended it there, but it wouldn't have been 10 minutes. That's awesome. Good for her. The tracks of misinformation. The tracks? So wait, the tracks are the misinformation? The train runs on misinformation, but it's like powered by lies, I think she said earlier. I'm just trying to understand the lore of the toxic gossip train right now. And so the toxic train goes to manipulation station. Uh, I guess where it drops people off <laughs> after running on lies. Toxic gossip train. I love the vocal flourish. Absolutely, keep that in there. In your song about defending yourself, just fucking keep that one in there. That's awesome. Flex on us a little bit, Colleen. Show us what you're made of. <laughs> Just so embarrassing. What's wrong with this person? Tied me to the tracks and harass me for my past. Rumors look like facts when you Rumors. don't mind the gaps. I won't survive in the crash, but hey. And that's really funny too. Because again, she's just demonstrating how worried she is for herself. <laughs> I won't survive in the crash. Please, please help me. I hope you had some fun. How does, oh my God, it does keep going. It keeps going. Oh, well, no, she she saw and then she was like, you know what? I have a little more to say. I'm not done telling my story. Guys, those kids, they liked it. I promise. That's basically what she's trying to say. And they're lying about it. Actually, you know, I feel like maybe I should let you guys know something. Um, it seems like... Maybe you're confused about something. I don't know. Let me try to help. Um, sometimes people make a mistake and it doesn't make them a horrible person. What is going on? Why is she singing this now? What? <laughs> That's just not, this is not the time. Is she, now she's doing like some improv. Do you think she rehearsed the first part of the song? Do you think she did? I don't think she rehearsed it. I think she's had enough skill playing the ukulele in the most basic, like, irritating chord progression that uh, she could free freestyle that shit. But now she's really going off script. Whoa. Encore, Sometimes baby. Sometimes people can make a mistake and they're still a good person. Crazy. I know. Sometimes people can make What is that, like, Disney princess shit? Crazy. I know. Stop it. 
Just think about, just think about her. Just think about her, man. How hard must this be for Amanda? Amanda sings. Amanda hug and kiss. Oh, I think I did this wrong. No? <laughs> it doesn't look like anything. Doesn't mean you gotta send them hate, oh no Sometimes people can make a mistake And you can kindly let them know and help them to Dude, just kindly let her know <laughs> Wow That's really good Sometimes people make a mistake And you can like calmly, you know, quietly very nicely so you don't hurt their feelings tell them that it's bad to message minors guys just be nice to me it's not that hard to be nice to me Grow. i fucked up this lego i'm rushing it sometimes I I people did out of order. make mistakes make simply because they made a mistake Wow. That mistake doesn't make them a terrible human. It just makes them a human. Mm, that's so fucking tacky, dude. But what do I know? Fuck me, right? Wow. That's pretty great, Colleen. You know what? I mean, that is definitely one of the YouTube apologies of all time. <laughs> I just can't even believe that she had the fucking, the gall. Oh, no. The Lego was a disaster. I did it all wrong. I rushed it. I didn't get a chance to fucking, I didn't build the Death Star. I didn't. Guys, I'm sorry. I need to get my ukulele and make my apology video now. It doesn't tell me good enough where these are supposed to go when I put them in the wrong spot, I think. It clips onto... Where, where? This is so upsetting. Oh, the white parts. Oh. You know, it was just one little part. I fucked it all up. I figured it out, though. Usually, Lego is a QR code. What? Kay Bradley, thank you for the ten dollars. Wow. Have you watched the movie Howie? Have you watched Howie Mandel's apology? No. What did he apologize for? Oh, he did a spoof of it. Honest. With oh, whoops. Um, my, people told me not to do this, but <laughs> nobody said that I shouldn't sing this. That's awesome. Ah, uh, a, a, a little while back. I accidentally posted a prolapse and didn't know what it was. <laughs> and then I got on the prolapse train and you all comment that you'll never forget. But I'm just a human being who <laughs> didn't know what a prolapse was. So you, it, but I oh, hope. Hope you're all having fun. Hope you're all having Hope fun. Hope you're all having fun. I was just trying to entertain and be funny. <laughs> but 
you, it, apparently last July it, it really it started trending. He's anyway, a king for this. I've just got on the trending train. I got on the trending train. Got on the trending train. <laughs> Who told him to uh, do this? I've learned my lesson, and I'm not going to post prolapses anymore, and I'm going to just sell the merch. Is this COVID-related? <laughs> Trending train. Good for him. All right, let's watch the fucking Brett Cooper thing. Comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. We have a little bit of internet drama today. The suspense is terrible. He oh, my God, dude. The Daily Wire will not stop with the old boomer movie references. He's going to go this time. There is a famous YouTuber who is currently under fire for grooming and pedo behavior, and that is Colleen Ballinger. But you might know her best as Miranda Sings. Why is she so? She does that her Here, lipstick. That is, she, Miranda does her lipstick like that normally. Is Colleen? That's like she just does the same thing. Ballinger, but you might know her best as Miranda Sings. I think you know her. She wears the bright red, high-waisted sweatpants, the lipstick all over her mouth. She was really, really big in the like 2014 to 2016 era. I would say like, I think those are the years that I really, really remember her when like all of my friends were dressing up as her for Halloween. She was everywhere on the internet. And Miranda Sings was somebody that I was never allowed to watch. And I don't think it was because my mom- <laughs> That's really funny. No wonder Brett Cooper's so fucking weird. Mom thought that she was inappropriate. Like my mom thought that she was incredibly annoying and stupid and added no value to my life, which looking back is an incredibly valid reason to say no to content. If it is a mind numbing time suck, your children do not need to watch it. You do not need to just put them up in front of a TV and go, oh, well, you know, it's not terrible. So I'll just let them know it's, if it's stupid, they don't need to watch it. My mom was queen of that. But anyway, I dude, that's so crazy. Who the hell was her for Halloween? Brett Cooper probably had some really weird friends growing up. I'll say it. I'll definitely say it. I'll say what everyone's thinking. I don't have much of a connection to Miranda Sings. I'm not heartbroken over these allegations. But when I was younger, my friends were obsessed with her. So I know her through them. But it is not looking good for Miranda, aka Colleen, these days. Before we get into that story, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel. Ah. So, Ballinger, YouTuber known for her character Miranda Sings, oh. is under fire for engaging in a pattern of inappropriate behavior with underage fans. She's being accused of grooming, manipulating fans into doing free labor for her, bullying, and... Yeah, that's the part that people keep forgetting to mention is that she was manipulating them into doing free labor that's like really fucked up all right i fixed it this is about as far as we got still a lot more to do but listen man i fucked up i fucked up big time okay more and then here's a photo of her why that's does butt pooper look so happy about it i think uh butt pooper gets a lot of uh satisfaction from people's misery Colleen being Colleen. Somebody commented and said, I found her YouTube character absolutely annoying and insufferable and got such bad vibes from her as a person. I am so glad y'all have seen the light. What? How could you say something like that? Somebody else said, God. when the random e-celeb you dislike for just being dumb and annoying. So this is one of those Brett Pooper videos where they just like put her in front of a computer and have her read fucking internet comments. I mean, it's called the comment section, um, but it's really, it's really annoying. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just need one more of these stupid little bricks. I kind of want to just keep building this because there's already Legos all over my desk now. So. Just now notice how the butt pooper comments. I don't care about butt pooper. Uh, mean Brett Cooper? Yeah, they do. Isn't that every Brett, uh, butt pooper video? Yeah, true. Two of the most annoying women in one video, true and unfunny is finally outed for a legitimate reason to dislike them. That is how I feel right now. Like, great. Now there's an actual reason that I can say I dislike her other than just, I think that she added no value to anyone's life. But apparently this is- What does that mean? She added no value to anyone's life. That's like the coward's excuse of like, refusing to engage with something so you don't know anything about it. You just want to dislike it. So you just make up an excuse that puts you above it in like a weird way. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? It's like a really like passive aggressive and very cowardly way to be. 
isn't new information. I am just hearing this for the first time, again, because I was never like a Miranda Singh stan, but this has been going around the internet for a while. Somebody said this new, I thought she got accused of this years ago. She's still doing this. Another person said again, I remember this already happened a few times and somebody replied to that and said, didn't happen again. It's just being brought back up now. So obviously it's new to me. So let's just die. Do your research, Brett. Just do the research before you do the video. In. Now, this all started when an ex-fan named Adam McIntyre started speaking out on YouTube and posting videos about how he believed- Oh, I'm sure Brett would say some horrible things about Adam. Oh, God. ...believed that he was groomed and exploited by Colleen, aka Miranda Sings. Now, in that era of YouTube, people were more engaged with their fans, and so Colleen was in these group chats with her fans, and she was DMing her fans. It was like the era- No one was doing that era of, you know, Taylor Swift on Tumblr with all of her fans, if you guys know that era. But anyway, he posted something in 2020. It got 1.7 million views, but he was bullied by Miranda's fans, Colleen's fans, into silence, but he is now speaking out. Again, here is the most recent video. It's just from four days ago. And then in addition to his videos that he's been posting, somebody did a super long thread on Twitter with a lot of clips from her channel and her live shows that she would do. She toured for a really long time. Sh okay, I don't want this anymore. Brett was a Tumblr girl? Yeah, but Tumblr adds value to your life, you see. There's like a whole fucking... Let's watch the Trisha Paytas thing. Where is it? Here we go. So this is a video um, that I like really do not want to make. And I feel like... The past few years, I've really taken a step back from having to comment on everything, having to respond to everything said about me on the internet because at the end of the day, it just gets really exhausting. And then, of course, being in other people's business, even if I have strong opinions about it, I really decided years ago that it, was, it wasn't good for my mental health. Uh, I have a mental illness, I have a personality disorder, which is hard to regulate my emotions. I get triggered very easily. I'm good for so her for acknowledging I've learned to that. deal with triggers the past few years, and I feel like I've done a very good job managing and regulating emotional stability. Um, and on top, aside from all that, just you know, being known as the person who's just always in drama and can't keep friendships, it's it's not a good look. I I've worked really hard the past couple of years to kind of just stay in my own lane and not engage in anything online it seems um, like she's doing better for it so that's she's good commonly referred to as drama but i feel like this is beyond drama i'm putting my own hurt feelings aside and my feelings are very hurt um i've had like a sick to my stomach I think trisha uses any pronoun for a while now and today especially um me and colleen started a podcast this year this yeah, year? What the fuck? Uh, we were always friendly before. I think it shocked a lot of people because like, oh, I didn't know they were close friends like that. And the thing is, is I didn't um, know that. What the fuck? We weren't close friends. We were <laughs> friends. I considered us to be friendly. When I had my daughter, she reached out and I thought, oh, it's great to have mom friends and, you know, um, friends, you know, who have kids. So <clears throat> I thought this podcast would be great because we always got along really great when we would see each other um we've been doing videos together on and off like maybe maybe once a year since 2018 and um trisha does have a daughter yeah okay and trisha uses so she so i you know i just thought oh, we, we, we got it we did it right each other it's a good you know a little thing for me to do because i haven't really done anything for a couple of years and i really enjoy being creative and producing stuff and um it was it was kind of fun to do costumes and stuff um I wasn't aware of these most recent things that are coming out. I can't imagine Everyone starting a podcast very, with someone. Very, very Fuck. Firm stance on talking oh. to anyone underage, platonic or not. Ah. I've always been very, very firm with this that I Guys, they dropped the Lego Death Star. is the worst thing that could have happened. Wait. 
it's not everywhere, but it's like it's so abstract. It's hard to remember where everything goes. And if one thing's in the wrong spot, it's just gonna screw me over. I think I need to take a break from this. I need to focus on the stream. I got too into the Lego. I'm so sorry. I'll never do it again. Boom. Fixed. It's coming along. You have to build all the like things on the outside and then you put them all together and then it comes together. F. All the fireworks. Okay, let me scoop all of this and I'll move it over here. Wonderful. All right, back to business. It was a wake-up call. Can't be building Legos forever. I failed the challenge. I think it's inappropriate. Um, I've, I've been known to talk about many occasions where someone is just 17 years old, and I don't feel comfortable with them, you know, being around them, hanging out with them. Hell no. I, what? I remember one time there was a very popular YouTuber who was 17, and another YouTuber I was friends with wanted to bring it to my apartment. I said, absolutely not. I'm like, she has to just stay in the car. Like, I just... I have a lot of trauma when it comes to I trust that. Um, my relationships I had when I was underage um, and not always sexual. A lot of my trauma comes from school, um, authorities at school, teachers at school that I trusted. Um, and sorry, this is like hard for me to make. I'm really trying to, and I, and I, and I don't, it's a it's a very hard hard. She might be talking about Tana. Yeah, that makes sense. But like boundary, like it's a very it's one that I don't let up on with anybody. I think it's. I think it's weird. I talked about it multiple times. I think it's weird. Yeah, it's so weird to hang out when with all kids. this came out. I was shocked. You know. You know the group chats and stuff. I was kind of shocked, and it's such a difficult thing because Colleen is someone that I quickly in the just literally in the past month that we did this podcast like I really really like cared about and really like related to I thought well you know she told me she'd canceled here and there and she kind of understood when people would come for her for working with me you know because I I've, I've done stuff in my past that's you know not I think it's pretty strange not for cool by today's standards you know <laughs> I think it's not cool for people to like come for tri come for Colleen for having Trisha on. It should be the other way around, but whatever. I think... Um, Not cool. I think everyone can be... Take accountability and grow. Like, I really do think people can, like, change and change their ways and stuff like that. Um, if you can acknowledge it. Her video came out, and I was just shocked, to say the least, that <laughs> she didn't at least acknowledge the stuff that her own fans were saying, how they felt, you know to kind of brush it over in the way she did and, you know, ultimately became like memes and now it becomes somewhat lighthearted, even though it's not a lighthearted issue. Uh, I was, I was shocked and she sent me the link to her video, her apology video, and I didn't respond back to it. Wait, was... she sent Trisha the link? Oh, that's insane. Wow. I can't believe that. She was like, hey, Trisha, you need to see this. That's awesome. It's just... I was shocked. <clears throat> um, weeks prior to the apology video, I know we were staying in touch because again, I know what it feels like to have the whole internet come down on you, even if the whole internet is right. Like, Wait, weeks after? She must be talking about the original apology video, right? The apology video. Oh, weeks we prior. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Staying in touch because again, I know what it feels like to have the whole internet come down on you, even if the whole internet is right, like, even if they're right. Oh, that's so issues, funny. Illness, and, um, I know what that can feel like, and I know what, I don't want anyone guilty or not to ever feel like they don't have someone to talk to that. There's not a way out of a situation that there's not a way to make a situation. Right. So I kind of stay in touch with her, but, um, so did she still stay in touch with when her? When I got involved with this, I got dragged into it rather. Um, 
it was a few weeks ago and uh, two boys both um, one I believe was 20 at the time and uh, one who uh, was 14 at the time oh my both. god the 14 year old alleged because I didn't speak on this because I didn't see anything and I'm not to say that I don't believe this person it's just a very 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 serious allegation it's very illegal so <clears throat> oh. a piece of the oh what the fuck hello ow ow oh god oh leg cramp ah ah Dude, it was both of the back of my thighs at the same time. That was insane. Ugh. Ugh. Youch. Mmm. That was nuts. Ow. Okay. Make this video and this statement. Um, literally, my accountant out why she got a text from like a Huffington Post reporter asking for a statement about all this. And I'm like, you know what, let me just, let me just put this out. And I hate <clears throat> putting any energy into this, but it's very, Miranda very serious. Did. It's very serious. And it's a topic I don't take lightly and I can't take lightly as I am a full-time sex worker. I don't think that's a secret. It's not as advertised as it once was, but we already have a lot of um, stigma, misconceptions, allegations against us as sex workers. Um, and so I need to nip this in the bud that I do not condone at all um, unsolicited nudes, sending unsolicited nudes to anyone, anybody, sex worker or not. I think using someone's nudes as a way to hurt them, make fun of them, make light of them, um, be mean is is the lowest form she doesn't take it lightly but she still stayed in touch no this is i think she stopped staying in touch after she found out because she didn't know about the the little weenies group chat or whatever it was of human the lowest form of intelligence i think that's so inhumane i think that's so disgusting uh, for anyone uh, last night the text um the text messages were shown and it's very clearly from Colleen to a fan. Has over half a million views on Twitter that I'm um, not embarrassed by. I'm embarrassed for her. I <laughs> try to take myself out of these equations when I'm feeling triggered. And if I were to look at it as it happening to someone else, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be humiliated for the person in the photos. I'd be humiliated for the person who sent them. Um, although it can be humiliating for the person in the photos as well. What? Um, and it somewhat is embarrassing. I'm I humiliated for the person, the person that sent them? when I'm feeling triggered and if I were to look at it as it happening to someone else, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be humiliated for the person in the photos. I'd be humiliated for the person who sent them. Um, although it can be humiliating for the person in the photos as well. Um, yeah, duh. and it's somewhat is embarrassing. I get made fun of all the time for my body, my nudes, even under this person's posts. Um, while I'm thankful, um, he posted them so I can see that this is real. Um, it's hearing all that horrible stuff underneath the photo, like, that about sucks. my body just being messed up or disgusting and it's 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 a lot yes i'm a sex worker and yes i chose this job and yes i make money doing it um but it never feels good to have someone just like make fun of your naked body it's just a really vulnerable thing and um it's, it, is, it is a little embarrassing if i'm being honest but i'm more embarrassed for her that this is the kind of person she is like i'm i'm so embarrassed i don't really understand why she's solicited the context of which she was sending these i don't get that logic i, I don't get the purpose i don't know if there was an inside joke i'm missing on, on this the fan said, hey, congratulations on becoming parents. Um, which a month later, she just responds with a, a nude of me and says, you look so pretty in this. And these weren't a long time ago. This is someone well into their 30s, just gave birth sending nudes. And I, a month prior, I was in her house meeting her child and doing a muffin, meeting her newborn, doing a muffin with her. Wow. That's crazy. In these texts, there's also friends of hers. They showed the viewing parties that were talked about make fun of me 
they did viewing parties of my adult content to make fun of me. And there's a friend of hers who I actually Dude, met as well. While she had a podcast, while she had a podcast, she was sending nude Trisha's nudes to minors and making fun of her. That's fucking vile, dude. That's, I don't know, I mean, that's inhuman. Back in 2018, with his face posing. <laughs> Mega mean girl peaked in high school vibes. I mean, she's messaging high schoolers about Trisha, so. Next to explicit images of me. And um, there was a video of it, and it's a lot, it's a lot. Um, and it wasn't just one occasion. There was multiple times that she sent just different photos and different positions of me. Um, I did ask her about these a couple weeks ago before there was um, the proof, so to speak, right? Never trust a ukulele player. Yeah, I do listen and to the she cure, assured actually. me that she had never sent photos of me. That um, this one fan who was underage at the time would send photos to her. She's like, no, he was a fan. He sent photos to me and he was obsessed with you. <gasps> and he would just send me it. And once in a while, I'd like respond to him and be like, hey, okay. She's lying. That's what she told me a couple weeks ago. There's a clip of her saying she saw a whale squirt and she wasn't talking about Trisha Paytas. Damn. I sent her that as well. And she said, everything's taken out of context. Like, these are lies. <laughs> these are and lies to a video of her own fucking clip. Me, as I was like her friend and I knew her as a person, I was... Trusting her, I guess. Um, because, I mean, overall, who do you trust? Like, this person you know in real life or people you, have, you, you don't know anything about? <clears throat> yeah, how do you take that out of context? Um, I guess that's why that's the whole innocent until proven guilty thing. Um, <laughs> I guess there, that's why there is that whole innocent until proven guilty thing. Man, I love Trisha Paytas' brain. So there was two options there for her to say, like, yeah, that was a while ago. I was a hater. I mean, I'm, I'm the first to say, like, I have definitely have been a hater in the past. I've been miserable in my own life. I've been going through shit in my own life in the past. And I was miserable and I hated on people, for sure. Not people that I would go and, like, be at their house and, like, do a whole podcast with. But <laughs> yeah. Sure, I can understand people, you know, gossiping and making fun of people. I don't understand them making fun of bodies. That's weird. It's weird. I don't I don't get those texts at all. Like, I look at those Crazy. and I'm, like, so confused. Like, okay. I'm the joke, my naked body's the joke, I guess, okay. I don't know, it's very, it's very odd. But I kind of gave her outs because I was like, hey, like, you know, we've talked crap about my that's fine, we, were, we weren't that close back then, I guess, like, you know, whatever. And she vehemently denied, no, I, I never sent pictures of you. Like, they, he, the underage man would send me pictures of you. I'm um, not so if they were nude or not. The, the, the text came out last night. And my heart started racing. It was, it was, I, I was triggered. I haven't been triggered in a while and I was triggered. My heart was racing, my stomach, I was sick to my stomach. And I just, I don't know, I guess seeing stuff like that, that's probably the worst I've seen from someone that I've like considered a friend. Like that's, that's brutal. It's pretty barbaric. It's pretty misogynistic. <laughs> oh, Jumbo Dumbo, thank you for the fine gift. It's, 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 it's a that. low, low level of a person um, to say that stuff. And again, this isn't years ago. This is. Yeah. Colleen know, blamed Adam. Someone who's not a child. Which is like my insane. Getting kicked, my Kim. As of now, as of recording this, it's the text came out and the minor fan who is now an adult has said that those same pictures were sent to him. This is all I haven't seen anything. Getting so kicked, I don't want to. I just want to put this out ahead of anything. I know there's every day something coming out and seeing that text from the Huffington Post. I'm like, okay, let me just get ahead of this. I am so sorry to that person. Getting kicked, my I'm so so sorry. Getting kicked. I know firsthand how traumatizing that can be. I had nothing to do with this. I do not condone Getting it. Getting kicked, my. Getting kicked, my. Thanks, Jumbo Dombo. That's just awesome. Getting kicked, my. Oh, and thank you, Tender Frogs, Getting for the member as well. Common Jumbo W. I think it's the most disgusting thing, and above all else, illegal. True. And to the person she sent, who was it, 20 at the time, maybe 21. Um, I still think it's disgusting. A grown woman in their 30s doing this to someone who is in their house, been around their family. Like, you have some issues. It's a sickness. Yeah, there's no excuse for that. That's crazy. 
Where are we watching, Trisha? We're doing a deep and dive. I, I don't think this is jumping on a hate bandwagon. This is like, hey, maybe she doesn't get it. What she did was wrong. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe it's like, okay, we need to keep talking about this because this is really wrong. This is really gross. And, and it's also unsolicited nudes. They're, they weren't, no one was asking for this. I don't, again, I don't know. The She's kind of saying the same thing over context. and over again. Her video was not an apology. <laughs> And it took away from the severity of her actions of talking to minors, bringing minors on stage at her show. Oh, yeah. These people are speaking up and they're uncomfortable for a reason. Acknowledge it, change it, do better. But being told she never sent these photos, and these actually do exist, these text messages, I feel like super disrespected and, and it looks like were some deviants because this is used in this way. It's disgusting. My statement on it and... Yeah, seems about right. Yeah, I do feel pretty bad for Trisha. Colleen's clearly, like, unstable. It That's pretty funny. It just adds, like, a an even, like, more unhinged context. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, Colleen Ballinger reportedly insisted on her Netflix series, Haters Back Off, having limited background actors of color on set because it would be distracting for a show set in Washington. <laughs> oh, my God. I have to sign in. Uh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. We were watching the auditions from earlier this morning, watching the tape of this black actor who's very fine, by the way. But anyway, the lighting isn't great, and Colleen just shouted out loud, where is he? Implying he's so dark-skinned he disappeared. Whew. Wow. My two seasons of Haters Back Off were unfortunately not my only experience being deeply uncomfortable in the workplace while in pursuit of my dream of becoming a television writer. This is interesting. Each time I encounter yet another abuser in the workplace, I notice they all seem to have something in common. An unwavering contempt for cancel culture and a pathological failure to demonstrate even an iota of accountability. Which clearly tracks. Yeah, actually a very bad person. Oh my god, dude. This is a super interesting article, but it's fucking <laughs> paywall. It's really frustrating. Uh, here we go. Sorry, there's just so many screenshots. There's too much. It's just, she's just like, I don't know how she got away with it for so long. Also, Washington's pretty diverse. Yeah, I know. Continue reading. Mm -hmm. Wait. Ah. There's a continue reading button. Oh. <laughs> well, my mouse doesn't work, so I can't click it anymore. Press continue reading. Well, I've been cursed with the inability to do it. It's right there. Well, tell my mouse that. We're so back. <gasps> oh, my God. Need batteries? No, I just charged it. There we go. I think the sensor gets fucking stuck. I have to, like, blow it out.
Huh. <laughs> Little kiss, yeah. I recall overhearing her once brag that a creator was being canceled for saying the N-word. And if you think she went with N-word instead of hitting that hard R, then you haven't been paying attention. And that she would never be stupid enough to get caught doing something like that. That is so insane. God damn. I mean, it's just like endless, dude. There's so much. There's so much. Like... It's insidious. It's insidious. <laughs> yeah, how much more blatant could it possibly be? How does this not come out earlier? Uh, it takes a lot. I, people get away with a lot of stuff uh, in entertainment, and in, uh, I don't know. It's just funny. <laughs> how many others are there hiding? Oh, Paul and Morgan. Should married people have close opposite sex friendships? Asking strangers. Wait, they reacted to a response video too. That's awesome. Damn, dude, this is 3.8K. Their fans do It's like the like life this. stage. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Let's get aboard the toxic gossip train, how about? that I am in, so this is funny. Can you specify on those boundaries? One more time, please. <laughs> oh, see, now the 1.5 is too much. Oops. Okay. Oh, sorry, Ronan. I didn't even realize he was behind me. <laughs> change title? Okay. If you want. I'll just change it to Monday time. <laughs> It's like the Oops. A live stage that I When did Paul Morgan start doing street interviews? I think recently, four days ago Yeah, dislikes disabled, of course Did you start watching? No, no, not yet um, Yeah, Paul and Morgan are doing Paul and Morgan started doing on the street interviews uh, Should married people have close opposite sex friendships? This one I don't even know where they are this is going to be insane. It's like the life stage that I am in, yeah. so this is funny. Can you specify on those boundaries? One more time, please. Who's this? <laughs> hey, we'll see hey. you later, bro. And, anytime, man. Yes. Send my people for the YouTube. I love them. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Are we on? We are on. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, guys? How you doing? I'm Paul. Oh, my God. Morgan. We're recording in 720p. Today, we are out Can't asking help. strangers, should married men have close female friends and vice versa? So we're asking both parties here, and I'm very intrigued to see what happens. We will see. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. You make sure you like the video. B &M take to the streets videos. b &M take to the streets. The world is laughing at you two. There is no God. Do it. And shout out to our patrons. We love you guys. We could not do Shut out up. here in Lexington, Kentucky. We did <laughs> last year with so much Hell fun. yeah. I'm sure they're going to get a very unbiased sample size in Lexington, Kentucky. To do it again. So. Who are these guys? Paul and Morgan. They're a Christian couple channel. Sign up, $5 or above, to come hang with us. And we have a special guest guys, helping us interview. Is it cheating to have friends? You strangers in today's video, he is a friend, he is a moderator on the PM YouTube channel, the one and only <laughs> Jacob Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, this guy is so white, he's like blowing out the camera. <laughs> Jacob, what was that sound? Just too? Your honest thoughts right now, how are you feeling? I'm nervous, but I'm very excited. I'm glad to be here. All right, boys and girls, let's get to it. All right, guys, so our hot topic question of the day, should married women have close male 
friends. Is this something you guys have thought about at all? Male. Are you being blindsided right now? <laughs> I mean, I think it's okay to have male friends, but you have to have boundaries with them and know when you're reaching those boundaries and when to step back. If we were married, like, I would definitely want to run that by, like, my husband and make sure that I was, like, making him comfortable and, like, following the boundaries that he wanted me to follow with. Is there a boundary that you could share with us that comes to your mind? I would say just not being alone with them in general is probably a good boundary. That way, just no other boundaries are crossed, so. Yeah, same. Like, I think if you're going to be with them, have someone else there with you. And this just popped into my head. I remember Mike Pence got under some pretty heavy criticism when he, I think it came out or made a statement or whatever that he like never is alone with a woman, like ever, something along those lines. And people were like making fun of him like, wow, that is like way overkill. Any thoughts on that? I don't necessarily think. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> he also calls his wife mother. I think it's overkill. Like, I mean... If you're alone with someone, then people can misconstrue it as something else. So if you have someone there with you, then they know what's happening. All right, let's do it. Are we good? Yes. All right. Here's the question. All right. Should married men have close female friends and vice versa? If he's married, yeah. If he's married, he can have close female friends. Unless he's married to like some psycho, yeah. Do you think there has to be boundaries with that? Yeah, for sure. What are those boundaries? I don't know. Don't be weird. <laughs> what about being alone? Yeah, true. What do you mean being alone? Let's say they go out oh, to have lunch. Together? Yes. I don't know. Probably not. So you believe you can, there just has to be boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. And those, can you specify on those boundaries? One more time, please. <laughs> as long as there's no, like... suck at interviewing. Like, intimacy. If you're just cool friends. Like, if you grew it's up together just a or bad something, question. that's different. But it's like, what do you mean? Should men and women be friends? Answer now. You're just like, oh yeah, she's cool. No. Do you think it would be okay if like he called her up and told her about a hard day at work rather than his wife? No, probably not. Unless your wife's busy. So specific. Like, who cares? Like, do you think it would be weird if they like went and got groceries together and they like made dinner together and then, you know, the things got a little too far? It's like, yeah, that'd be weird if that happened. <laughs> let's say this married man and his female friend not his wife let's say something's going on between him and his wife they're struggling with their relationship and he goes to this woman to talk about it do you think that's okay without the wife knowing no not at all okay what about if she does know if she's okay with it but if you tell her i'm gonna go talk to this girl and she's not like bro what then i don't know you can ask them they're married all right, you guys. Our question is: He's How do you guys feel like about you can ask them? I don't. I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> married couples having best friends of the opposite sex. I think having acquaintance acquaintances is perfectly fine. Um, we definitely have friends of opposite sex and have an open understanding that they're just friends. We have a really good level of respect for each other, so we're always open with each other about what's going on. So I think having acquaintances is good. I think best friends kind of, I don't know, I think best friends, you have to define best friend. I mean, before we got married, we had numerous friends yeah. that were a little closer probably than of the opposite sex yeah. than we are with them now. But honestly, in my opinion, she's my best friend of the opposite yeah. sex. She's my wife. Yeah. I'm never gonna have a female friend as good as her. Yeah. Hey, men. Yeah. <laughs> Marriage is a commitment. It's something you gotta trust one another in, yeah. and no matter if. It's so boring. It... <laughs> I can't do that. Are, are you married? No, I'm single. So what if you get married and then the the ladies that you were friends with yeah, say like, one of them says it's literally just like. NPC dialogue and then they keep asking the same questions to get the same answers Elvis come have lunch with me would you say yes to that or no oh just for lunch I can take lunch okay yes but if something different I'll be now because I know who I am and what I'm looking for right now what if they you went and had lunch with them just just a harmless lunch yeah. and then they said let's do this again next week and they wanted to have lunch with you once a week that's be a hard worker for me because I'm having lunch with anyone like every week you don't do that. No, I don't know what's the reason why they keep inviting me on that. What have they said? We're just, I just love being friends with you, Elvis. We're just, I just really love our bond. No, that's cool, but I have to make it the schedule because I got... <laughs> Dude, this poor guy, they're just harassing him. Got a lot of shit to do. <laughs> so you got a lot of shit hey, to we'll do. We'll see you later, bro. And, anytime, man. Elvis was a real sweet dude. Not sure he totally understood the question, though, Smile. <laughs> 
Yes. Tell my people for the YouTube, I love them. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Should married men have... <laughs> this guy's hoodie's awesome. It's just a picture of the white shirt. Close friendships uh, with women. How are we defining close? Besties. How are we defining women? I would say no. I think it borders the emotional intimacy and can cross lines there. I, I like that word, emotional intimacy. Um, you said that pretty confidently. What about more casual friends? <laughs> the editor zoomed in on it. Friendships with, with girls. Like say, let, let's do a scenario. Married man and he's got just a friend who's a woman and occasionally they'll go have lunch together. Yes or no? <sighs> Depends on occasion. I like, I think especially like, are you bringing this girl that's a friend like along with your wife like is she friends with her as well i think that makes it a lot more normal okay. oh. yes okay. so i will be moving it back and Sounds forth good. <laughs> all right so boring so boring he loves it but he cries every night where do they say that i don't want to look for that Let me see this. Does cry every night. Male best friends, and we have sleepovers. So. How does your husband feel about this? Oh, he he what? is very confident in himself. Wait, what's going on? They just like make up some like random character because they they couldn't find enough people to interview. I'd say probably not unless it's in a friend group. So just not alone. Yeah, just not alone. That'd be good. Yeah. I love that. That's good. Good. Good answers. I'm here with Jim. Um, Jim identifies as they, them. G E M. Oh. I see what they're doing. G E M. They, them. Not Jim. Jim. All right, Jim. Just one second. Let's do the question first. Should married women have close male friends and vice versa? What kind of dumb question is that? Of course they can and absolutely should. I think it's actually really beneficial for a married woman to have best friends of men, if you want to call them that. I don't know if men exist really. There's like a lot of genders, so I don't want to get into that right now. Do you not think that could lead to some issues, some, some problems between uh, this male and female? or other gender that you believe in that's on them if it upsets them like they need to give their glasses free. guys her glasses are upside down because she's a crazy leftist freedom just because you're married doesn't mean you can't like have other intimate emotional relationships with people that's just crazy i'm married and i have five men male best friends and we have sleepovers so how does your husband feel about this? Oh, he, he is very confident in himself, so he loves it. But he does cry every night. All right, guys, debrief. Were you <laughs> What is... Dude, this guy looks crazy. <laughs> anyway, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Uh, that's nuts, man. Listen, it's been a good stream. It's been a great stream, guys, but I think I need to call it. We did the full Colleen, the full Colleen deep dive, and it really took, took a lot out of me. But, uh, yeah, I'll stream again soon. This was good. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Thanks for the memberships, uh, for pressing join. Um, and all that and I'll be making more stuff. Don't worry. Can we remix the apology next stream? Yes I forgot to download Ableton. So uh, I gotta do that and then we'll play Garfield Kart next stream, too um, Okay